Hi everyone, it's Donna with Inverti.com. How is everyone's Thursday night going? I am doing very, very well. Let's log on and see who we've got with us. Well, make sure that I'm live because that would be a thing to do, right? Let's see. Okay, good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's go here. And there it is. Yes. Oh, hi, Buzz. Hi, Karen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So as you all know, um, this will be our last live until the new year. So our next one won't be until January 7th. That seems like a very long time away. I'm just saying. Hey, Dorothy. Hey, Debbie. Merry Christmas, Deborah. Hey, Connie. Hey, Maria. Hey, Ivy. I know. I was um, making a banner. I was making a banner. So later on, I can do this. So later on, I can do that. Um, <laughs> and I was trying to remind myself. And I was like, gosh, this. 7th of January. It just seems like a very long time away. Um, but that's okay. It'll just give us way more time to finish whatever projects we got going on, start new ones. It'll, it'll be great. It'll be great. I know really cool banner, huh? I will do it like the last 15 minutes of the, I was going to call it a show. The last 15 minutes of the show of the live. Oh my gosh. You're in Pennsylvania. It's snowy. It's snowing here too. This week has been, I mean, we got snow a while ago, but it was like a skiff and then it was gone. But this week was the first time we got snow and it stuck, um, which is very unusual for us. We usually have snow at Halloween. No snow at Halloween this year. I know it is going to be a long time. Oh, you're so sweet just seeing and hearing your happy voice. Really cheered me up. Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you too. You got about eight inches of snow. Oh, I'm so jealous. Okay, so I have to say I am one of those people that love snow. Um, let me rephrase. I love whatever season I'm in. Like I don't have a favorite season but I love snow, but I love it from afar. I love it from behind the window, on the right side of the window, on the warm side of the window, you know, where you sit there and stitch and you look out and you're like, oh, it's snowing, but I'm warm and I have my drink and I'm a stitching and I'm a show and all is good. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't do winter sports. And again, I love the summer, love the summer, love the sunshine, love the long days. Don't like the heat. I like it from the inside. Yes, it's a thing. Yeah, my son is outside right now shoveling. He doesn't like to shovel. Actually, when it snowed earlier this week, maybe Tuesday, Monday, one of the days, he was outside shoveling in the morning. He came in. He's like, I don't feel good. I don't feel And then he went and threw up. I was like. So he's like, I know there's only three inches, but I'm going to try and use the snow blower. He's like, I don't want to puke again. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, it's very pretty to look at. It's very, very pretty to look at. So I, I do, I do love snow. I am definitely one of those people. I am like one of those people that um, people would call me. And be like, we just got four feet. It's your fault, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it is. Sorry. Um, it's true. Watching the snow fall down while you are inside and stitching. It's just so nice. It is. It's so nice. So nice. Specifically when you've got all your Christmas presents done. All, you know, you don't have to go and buy anything. You got, you know, pantry full of food. All that kind of stuff. No school yesterday or today and two hour delay tomorrow. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. You know, like, like since this whole 2020 thing, 
like I'm not even calling it the coronavirus. I'm just calling it 2020. Um, like, I don't think they're ever going to have no, no school days again, because now they can just, um, you know, do it virtual. So it's like, yeah, no, it, it's a snow day, but um, you, you're just going to do it virtual. So like, there's no snow days anymore. Anyway. Hey, Amy, welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, so today we're going to talk about fabric. Now, I know we already talked a little bit. We talked about stitch count, um, not stitch count, thread count. Um, but let's, okay, so let's do this. Um, oh, I have to do something first. Look. At, oh, I need to share my screen. Hang on a second. Look at the new Mirabelli app. Oh, oh my gosh. You remember when I was telling you that Mirabelli, or not Mirabelli, mermaids had to have amazing tails and amazing hair? I'm pretty sure she's got amazing hair and amazing tails. Anyway, she came out on Tuesday and oh, I love her. I love her, love her, love her. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to show you like our stitch calculator, um, how to how to navigate through all of our fabric, how to figure out what fabric for your project. I know she's so pretty. She's so pretty. And she's got so many beads, you guys. Like, like, look at all the beads. Like a bunch of beads. Oh, she is just, oh, she's just so pretty. She's so pretty. So we'll do that. And then we can talk about like the difference of um, the actual fabric. So to get to all of our fabric, but you can ask whatever questions you want while I'm going, you know, whatever questions you've got, you can ask. Okay. So um, to go on into fabric and stitchables. Now I've got it sorted in here by count. So, you know, depending on whatever count you want is, is, is how it's sorted. It's a bunch of beading. Oh, I, 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 I'm probably more than likely mo almost definitely going to be getting her because she's just too pretty not to have. Um, so, um, the higher the count, the smaller the stitch. Um, so like, I don't have any with me because I did all the differences, um, last time. Um, you know what? And I think that is like that right there. Okay. So Beth said, I, um, I think they're pretty, but it's not something I would stitch, but I, I like looking at others who do that right there is the epitome of stitching to me because where I say that all the time, I'm like, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning, but I would never do it. And every other stitcher out there has said the exact same thing. Like we've all said that we've all said it. And yet we all or like, it's stunning. It's beautiful. Uh, you know, that's gorgeous. It's amazing. You know, all the things. And yet that's not my jam. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not what I would do. And I just, to me, to me, that's one thing I love about our, about going through the group is to see the diversity of it, to see, you know, from one extreme to the next of what people do and what people stitch and, you know, it, how it flows and everything. That to me is just, it's, it's what stitching is about to me. Um, so, but you know, the thing that unites us all, it's not, it's not, um, what we stitch. It's that we stitch, you know, it's the hobby itself. It's the educating itself, you know, and the ability to, God, this is like going super deep. I'm really sorry. But <laughs> the ability to appreciate, no matter if it's not your thing, you're just like, oh my God, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And, and um, that took you forever. And you appreciate, 
appreciate um, the amount of work that goes into it and you know all that kind of stuff you know and we're all not well that's ugly you shouldn't do that you know we're not, we're not that we're it's not for me but dude if you like it then i can't wait to see you work on it so anyway that's just that's that's what that is for me i love it but i wouldn't hang it in my house really so then there's no point in me stitching it that's why we're all unique and have different likes. I thought I would never stitch a marabilia, but I am on the August Paradol Fairy. See, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. You know, I mean, there's, there's, there is the perfect project out there for everybody. There's the first perfect designer. There's the perfect picture. There's the perfect, you know, whatever it is. And you find the one that fits for you. And I think that's perfect. I completely agree. And it what's makes the hobby grow. Yeah. I appreciate those who stitch it because a lot of work goes into them. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. They do. Um, I found myself stitching Lady Justice. Oh, I love Lady Justice. She's beautiful. And the thing about like different designers, I mean, let for this instance, let's say Marabilia, she's got such a spectrum, you know, she goes from, you know, Victorian ladies to fairies, to mermaids, to Lady Justice, to little pixies, to petite mermaids, to um, angel cherubs. She's got a bunch of angels, you know, I mean, there's, they're, they're all over the spectrum. Um, and so, and I mean, I could name, you know, Joan Elliott, you know, Bella Filipina. I mean, there are a dozen other designers that do the same thing. I mean, Joan Elliott, she goes from, you know, designs similar. I mean, I don't know how this got off on a, on a design debate discussion, but she goes from very cartoony designs to um, designs, not cartoony, very cutesy and, you know, well, cartoony. I mean, she's done some cute little teddy bears and stuff that are cartoony. And then she goes to, you know, ladies and fairies and things like that, that are, that are very elegant and stuff. So anyway, okay. So enough about that. Yeah, no, you're not late. I've been rambling. So you're perfectly on time because, you know, you know, me and topics, I just ramble on and on and on. Okay. So. <laughs> so everything's sorted in, in here by count. Um, unless, unless it's like the perfect paper, towels, stitchables, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So in um, 11 to 20 count, that's where all of our Adas are going to be. Then again, they're sorted into count. So you got your 11, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Um, these are the actual images that I have uh, here of, you know, the different counts and stuff. So those little hearts kind of show you how, how, you know, the, the higher the count, the smaller the stitch it goes and how smaller the X goes. And so you can um, go in here and you can see all of the different colors and everything we have. Now, if we're out of it, out of it, um, it will say special order. Um, but so let's go into like this one. When it comes up, it'll tell you everything that we have. So it will show you that we've got a piece that's you know, 13 by 11, 18 by 11, 22 by 18, 50 by 36, 44 by 36, 50 by 38. So it shows you every piece, every single piece of this color that we have in stock. And then this is where you can go through and say, oh, well, I need a piece that's 11 by 15. And then it'll come up and it'll be like, oh, okay, well, here is your 11 by 15. This is a custom cut and it's $11.93. But if you bought this piece over here that's 18 inches by 11 inches, it's only 10. And that's because of the custom cut. So when you're looking at the pieces, um, pay attention to that. Um, because the custom cut, it, it is a custom cut. So there, there is a, not a surcharge, not a cut charge. There's just a charge. I don't know what it's called. Um, so you could get, you know, a little bit bigger piece 
for a little bit cheaper just because we actually have that piece in stock. Um, and then of course you just simply click on that and it will add it to your cart. Of course you can exit out and it will remove her from your cart too. Um, so you can just see all the pieces that we have. Now when looking at hand dyed, let me go back out here. Um, we have, we don't have very much, uh, hand dyed in Ada. Um, so what we do have is, is pretty cool. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't have that much. Okay. I thought I'd have a piece. Okay. Well, this isn't hand dyed. This is more painted, but let's see. No, that looks right. It's probably in the linens that it will look weird. Okay. So that's in the Adas. And this is, you know, everything from 11 count to 20 count. And again, you can come up here and you're like, oh, well, I only want to see 14 count. And it will only show you 14 count. This is that gridded fabric that will wash out. Um, all of our fabric, um, once we cut it, we surge all the edges. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, if you're going through here and you're like, well, I don't see the color I want, that's when you just give me a phone call or you send me a text message, things like that. I've been looking at the marbled green Ada. The marbled green Ada is pretty, pretty awesome. I think it's cool. I love the marbled just because it, it's, it just gives the Ada just a little, it's not, you know, too in your face. But the marbled Ada is pretty, it's pretty beautiful. The um, Summer Sky one, this one, the marbled Summer Sky is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, okay, so let's go look at our linens and even weaves that we have. Um, okay, so they would be in the 18 to 40 count. And again, we've got it all broken up into other families, you know, 18 count, 20, 25, 28, 30, 32, and 40. Um, when you're just in here like this, there's everything in here. Oh, one thing I didn't say, let's say you're looking for blue. So you just type in blue and it will search anything that's blue. <laughs> It'll just bring up all the blues, you know? So like if you're searching for green, you just type in green, and it finds anything that's green. Now, if it's some funky name that doesn't have the word green in it, then it won't have, then it won't, it won't find it. <laughs> it's gotta have the actual name of, the, you know, the, whatever you're looking for in it. Well, actually this one didn't, this one's moss and it still came up. So maybe we found a way around that. And you can even do that. So let's say you don't know what count you want and you just type in green, it'll give you everything, including perforated paper. Um, it'll give you everything. It'll give you, I believe it'll even give you towels if we have green towels, which obviously we don't, but it gives you the perforated paper here. So every count, every kind, every type, everything. <laughs> That's tropical green, I guess. Um, and then of course you can either delete this or you can just hit this X here and it will zero it out. Um, okay, so then in here you can go through and go by count. So now we have the most um, colors in 28 count um, and we have the most hand dyed in 28 count. Um, not that we don't have it in other colors. It's just that that is where the most is. Um, okay. So, <clears throat> um, when I get a minute <laughs> right now, um, under the counts are everything. They're both your Laganas, your Jobalons, um, and your linens. So everything's in here mixed. But let's say you only wanted to look at Lugana's. Um, so you just type in Lugana. Um, eventually I will have it separated out. I'll have it, you know, separated out into those three. I don't. Lugana is an even weave. So I may just have even weave and linen in there and you can do it. But again, you can just type it in and it will show you only Lugana's. 
that we carry. Now, for hand-dyed, you can see these images here. This is more what the whole piece is going to look like. When you click into it, it's going to kind of replicate it um, like this. <laughs> That's not what the piece is going to look like. It's going to look more like this. Um, but because, you know, the piece gets bigger, you know, the size-wise, it, it replicates it like that. That's not what it's going to look like. It's very organic. Um, and that's just um, yeah, computer. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> um, and again, it shows you um, the different sizes we have already in stock. It shows you their pricing, all of that kind of stuff. It is also giving you that this is a limited quantity product and it is being discontinued. Um, so this isn't a guarantee. I mean, the, you know, if you look at this and then come back next week, it may not be guaranteed. So definitely look at that. Um, and you can do that for all of them. Now, um, ugh, there's just so many fun ones. There's just so many fun ones. If you see ones like this, these are opalescent, meaning they've got a metallic in the fabric itself, and I love them. They are one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. I love opalescent fabrics. Um, they just, oh, they're just, they're just so fabulous. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. Um, and you can see just how many pieces, um, how many colors we have in 28 count. And I can just keep scrolling and scrolling. And you can see the difference. You know, you can see that this is a linen. You can see that that's a jobolon, a linen, you know, a lugana. Um, you could, I mean, the close-up pictures give you a really good idea of what the fabric looks like, you know. You can see all the slubs and everything, like in this one. Um, you can see the texture. <laughs> I know, I love... I love hand dyed linen. It is one of my, you can definitely see a, um, when I found hand dyed linen in my stitching and before, cause like all of my pieces are like, Oh, I'm, you know, solid color, solid color, solid colors. And all of a sudden I found hand dyed linen and it's been nothing but since you can definitely see it. Not at this time. I don't carry the glow in dark yet, but I will because it's awesome and I need it. So that is in the works because it's just, it's too awesome not to carry it. Now, one thing again about hand dyed linen, it is not color fast at all, period. Do not wash it, you will regret it. And there is no guarantee it's gonna look like this. The, the splotches may be different. The, you know, the way it goes may be different. You know, there, there's no, there, it's hand dyed. The variable is, so if you're sitting here looking at this and going, oh, I could put a dragon on this and I'll have this piece over here. That's, that's not how it works. It's, yeah, she dyed this the way she always dyes Rumbles of Thunder, but it's hand dyed. It's, you know, it, it's what it is. <laughs> so there's never a guarantee it's going to look exactly the same. I've bought pieces before. I bought other, I, you know, I've been like, oh, I need the same thing and I get it. And it's like totally different. That also being said, linen dyes different than Jobalon, that dyes different than Lugana, that lies different than Ada. So like if I had, um, oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Phew. Just one, okay. So let's see, let's go back here to um, Routine Hour is kind of one of my favorites. You can see how different it is. So 28 count linen, 20, or opalescent, 28 count linen cashel, 28 count opalescent Lugana, 28 count Jobalon. You can see how different each one is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So each fabric dye is different than each fabric. Um, okay. Let's um, talk about um, our fabric calculator, which is right here. 
um, look, I have a pattern right here. Oh, I need glasses to read it. So you've got your pattern, you know the stitch count. This is 27, 227 by two, 294, four, okay. And then you can go through and you can pick what count you want, whether you want, hello, click, really? Click. There. <laughs> what count you want it on, you can pick what <laughs> fabric type you want it on. Why are you being so slow tonight? It must be me. Um, and then you can pick um, whether, okay, and then it's blank. Okay. Okay, it's thinking. You can choose whether you're doing it over one or over two. Then you can choose, I don't know what's going on. You can choose your margins. Um, and I, it automatically does three inches all the way around. So see, it'll show you. So it'll, this will also be dictated by this. So if I'm choosing 28 count, it's only going to show me Jobelon, Lagana, and Linen. If I'm choosing 14 count, then it'll show me Ada. So this dictates what's available here. So then it will tell me my um, uh, cut size, how big I need to cut it. This right here, it'll show you here as well. So this is your stitch area, your margin, and your extra. He did it this way because some people like to do three inches with another one inch. But again, you can go through and you can change this to however you want it. We just have it set uh, at an automatic three inches. You can also go in and you know zero it out too if you want less. So it tells you what the stitch count is, and then it shows you where the uh, picture will fit inside the um, fabric. Then you can go through and pick your fabric and see what it'll look like. And again, it's not gonna look like that. <laughs> it's gonna look like this. <laughs> but you can go through and you know you can see it. Now, this is a really cool feature um, when you do like a, a recommended one, which I'll just, I'll show you in just a second. So let's see, you find the one you want. You're like, oh yeah, that's the one I want. So then you just come down here. Oh, I think it's thinking. Oh, I picked a green one. And you do select piece. Now that'll take you to the fabric and um, then you can add it to your cart. Oh, no swatches. So when there are no swatches, you call me and say, hey, I need this fabric. Or you email me at donnadadimbrody.com and then I order it for you. Um, okay, let's try. Oh, it's going to. Okay, let's do this then. Um, and I believe, yes, our cross-stitch calculator is right here. So if you go to just hand embroidery. The cross stitch calculator is right there. If you go to fabric and stitchables, um, it's right there as well. So do I have, yes, okay. Let's go look at a different pattern. I have one in mind. That I want to look at, and it is this one. Okay, so you have this pattern. You're like, ooh, what kind of fabric would she be good on? That's where the recommended fabric comes in. Um, so some of our designs are transparent like this, which is really, really cool. So then you can go through and see what she would look like on the fabric and pick. Um, if you come across a design that isn't transparent, you can always just message me and we can make it transparent. And then you can um, look and see what she would look good on. But we're trying to make them all transparent as we go. Um, but again, it will automatically put in the stitch count for you. It'll put in the recommended fabric, the inches, and um, 
and then it will tell you what the cut size is, um, what, what it should be cut at. If there's a pattern not on our site, that's where you would just enter it here. You would just um, get the pattern and you would just add in the stitch count. Or if it's something that you want and we don't carry, um, message me and I can see what I can do about actually getting it sold on our site. Um, that's how I found a lot of designers. Um, you know, one of the one of the big things is there are so many designers out there now. It is so hard for me to keep track of. I mean, there was a time where I, I mean, I knew a lot of them and now I don't because there are so many designers out there. So if there's a designer that you're like, hey, I want to do her and I want you to carry her or him, message me and I'll see what I can do about getting him. If, um, if I don't have a transparent like this, um, then again, just message me. And so there will be two things. Um, hey, you don't sell this design. I want to see what it looks like on fabric. Okay. So then I go through and I figure out if I can or cannot sell it on our site. And then I figure that out. And then we can make it transparent so you can see what it looks like on fabric. Now, this is awesome for all of this fabric, but we have our brand new printed fabric, which um, is amazing. And it's right here. So it's under printed fabric. Um, it, um, hasn't been added to the recommended yet. So it's, you can see that it's not in here when you're looking, it's not in here. Um, so that is something we're working on, but you can go through. Okay. So let's backtrack a bit. Now the printed fabrics come in specific sizes. They are not custom cut. They, um, are printed in the exact size that I told them to print them in. Um, I went through and I figured out five, five most common sizes. Um, I grabbed like hundreds and hundreds of stitch counts and determined the most common sizes. And so that's what I've um, had them um, printed in. These are all 28 count linen. They are not uh, available in uh, even weave yet. The even the linen is very very soft and it has very few slubs in it, uh, which is really really nice. Um, so yeah, I am working on getting the images so you can see what the so you can see the translucent image on this. Um, so you can just go through here. Like how cool would that pattern be on this? You know, that, am I in the wrong? Oh, I am. I got out of her. But how cool would that fairy be on this, you know, or having a beach scene or even just these marbles. I love the sheet music. I love the sheet music. I think it's so pretty. The beach, just too cute, too cute. And we're going to be making more and more and more of these um, with different, um, designs, pictures, all of it. I love the flag. Flag's one of my favorites. Um, the moon ones, even this one, this one would be beautiful on it. Um, okay. What else do we have in here? Okay. So we did, um, so we've got some Afghan blankets. I think yeah, only one. Um, it's weird because they have discontinued all the ones that we, that used to be out there. So I'm having a trouble finding them. I know it's portrait and I can't remember the other name. Oh, landscape. Um, okay. Let me get back over into my printed fabric. What I did is I made so, okay, so when you go into one of these, you'll see all the sizes on the side. 
and I made sure to put um, width and height. So this one, the width and height uh, matter because, you know, you have to be able to read it because it's got, you know, it goes this way. Um, so you can see the width and height. Um, let's see, there's one that I did, this one. This one changes. Um, so like 18 by 20, so 18, you know, by 20. But then it's 20 by 18, and then 25 by 18. So I changed it. So one is vertical, or one is, hor one is landscape, and one is portrait. So it gives you that option. The printed fabric can be washed. Yes, it can be washed because it is printed on there. Um, it doesn't come out, um, So, which is a really cool feature. <laughs> it's a really cool feature. Um, some of these only do have three or three, two or three options in them, and that's because I just haven't printed the other uh, sizes. So like, this one's only got two. It's because I haven't printed the other sizes yet. Um, and so that's always a thing. Um, but I made sure I went through like like this one and I added, well, what I was doing, I was just I was generically putting, the width first and then the height. And then I was like, that's confusing. So that's when I went through and added the, well, I still continued, but I added the W and the H because it confused my brain, specifically when I was taking pictures of all this. Now, when you look at this image, this image is the image that we had them print. If you click into this, that is the image of the actual piece of fabric. I took that picture. Um, and so you can see what the actual piece of fabric looks like. This right here is not printed on there. I added that to the image to keep them straight in my head because having all these pictures, I was like, I don't even know what size this is anymore. Um, and so you can see, you know, the difference of the actual image. Now, again, that is a picture. It looks way, way, way better in person, way better in person. Okay. What do I have less to talk about in fabric and stitchables? stitchables because they're kind of fun. Oh, we do have some pre-printed, pre-packaged fabric too. I love these. These are fabulous for kids. I think they're awesome. Um, they're just cute. They're just cute and fun for kids. So these are just, you know, little things that you can stitch that are fun. Um, towels. We have several different towels. We've got, um, just regular flower sack towels. And then we've got these towels that actually have Ada on them that, um, that that is where you stitch. Um, so th then it, can I make it bigger? So then it's got the actual Ada right there. So towels are always fun. I love the towels. What was the other thing? Oh, weaver's cloth. We do carry weaver's cloth for basic embroidery as well. Um, I think we only have a couple color, col couple colors. Yeah, just a couple colors. And again, this can be, um, custom cut as well. Very good stocking stuffers. Yes, absolutely. Very good stocking stuffers. So that's basically just how to navigate our website and how to use the fabric calculator. Now I have, um, uh, videos on both of those. I have fit a video on how to purchase the custom fa cut fabric. So I go into great detail. I've got images of how to go step by step to do all of it. Then I also have a video on how to use our calculator, how to purchase, how to use the new cross stitch calculator. Um, and again, I've got step-by-step -step details in here, plus the video about how to do that. So, is that everything I wanted to cover? I don't know. Do you have any other questions? Um, the, uh, as far as the designs go that are um, trans transparent, um, there's really no way of telling which one is which unless you go into the recommended fabric. 
Um, but again, if you find one that you're like, I want to look at this, I want to see what it looks like, just message me and I, I can do it. So yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so now that I've talked for, you know, 10 minutes more than I should have, let's go see what you guys have been up to. Okay, you know what? I I freaking love, 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 love doing these um, these polls because you guys never come back with the answer I expect. Not that the answer on this one was unexpected. I just like how it's an even vote. <laughs> All three of them are 32. It makes me laugh. I think it's hysterical. I think it's hysterical. Makes me laugh. Um, oh, I was going to talk about Karen. Karen, no, you're not a chicken. I, well, I only did 14 count Ada for the longest time because I was told over and over and over and over and over again how hard linen was and that it was so hard and only professionals did it and blah, blah, blah. And um, it's not that hard. It's truly not. I have a video. This is a very old video. Very old video. But I do walk through how to stitch on linen. And um, it's old. I think I did this one in like 2017. It's super old. But it gives you a really good idea of how to stitch on linen. Because it's super easy. Um, the, the hardest part is, um, I mean, if you're doing even weave, that's a no brainer. It's super easy. Um, but the hardest part is getting your foundation stitches after that. You go off your foundation stitches and it's super easy. So not that old. I look the same. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> just three years old. It's just funny. Cause like, my videos are so different now just because, I mean, like, I know more. I know, you know, more technology. And so they just make me laugh. It's a good scrapbook, right? Okay, let's go see what you guys have been doing. Oh, my gosh. These are so freaking cute. Oh, my gosh. How cute are those little freaking... Why do I do this every time I, like, lean forward? Super cute little grandkid ornaments. Oh, I love that you even put their names on them. That's cute. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. Ooh, I like it, like it, like it. That's some beautiful um, basic embroidery. <gasps> Look at this. This is like totally stitching or finishing outside the box. I love it. Wait, is this, this is a finish. Hey, oh, I hid my bell. I hid my bell. Oh, I love it. That just adds like so much detail to it. The, nut, the Nutcracker by um, Country Cottage Needleworks. I love it. Really? Okay. Send it to me. I'd like to see your pick before coronavirus and now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Christmas ornaments for your girls. I love it. I love the way you finished it. Next year, one of my things, one of our demo things is going to be about finishing. And I may just start stealing all your guys' pictures <laughs> to show you guys um, how, how different you guys have finished them. Because those are awesome. See? Look how cute these are. And that's a finish, too. I love it. Ooh, let's talk about finishes for a minute. Let me slide back up here. Okay. If you're up here at the top and you go, not to files, you go to, why isn't it there? Mm. Huh. Album. Okay. So you go to media, then you go albums. And I made a... 2020 finished project um, folder. And you can post any project you finished in 2020. And right now we have 52 projects in here, you guys. 52. 
52 projects we finished. We, we finished this year alone. That's awesome. Look at all those. That's amazing. So, and you can just, you know, add, add photo or video in, in right in here. So again, you go to the top, you go to media, then you go to albums and it's the first album, 2020 finished projects. And then you could add your own, um, whatever you finish this year and you can add everything. Cause I want to see like, really, I, I think it'd be amazing to see how many projects we finish. Cause I mean, basically we had three challenges this year. We had the love to stitch, the summer stitching and the witchy stitchy. So to see how many we finished overall would be awesome. 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 Okay. Let me, ooh, those are freaking cute. Mr. and Mrs. Claus and Rudolph. I love it. Love it. Love it. These are all of your finishes. Uh, 12 of them. Dude. Yes. You need to go add all of these to the album. Yes, 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 yes. This one might be my favorite. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that one might be my favorite. Oh, I must have not gotten down a lot. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, I love that. It must be just a, like a small five by seven or something on 18 count Ada. That is beautiful. <gasps> Look at that one all framed. I think this one was in the finished. Very cute. So, so like five plus seven, dude. Yes, yes. Go at it. Go at it. Go at it. I'll, I'll, I'll reshow that at the, at the end again. So we all know where to go to add those. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yay, it's done. Oh, yay. Oh, so cute. January 30th, 2020. Dude, you are like, you are like a month ahead. Man, I don't think I've ever finished a wedding sampler ahead of the wedding. Oh no, I did. I've made like three or four wedding pillows that the um, ring bearer was going to hold. So yes, I have. I have. The little Santa bear is pretty dang cute though. Ooh, I like, I like, you like, you. I like the fabric. That's nice. Very cute. Who's that? Dorothy. Very cute. Okay. So I saw this one and I was like, what pattern is this? So I literally went and looked it up. And then of course I got out of it. Um, the stone rose is a, uh, kind of a white on white on white. It's, it's like a, a statue. So it doesn't have any color. So she converted it to have all this color and she changed the wings. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Um, you need to take a breathing treatment. Okay. Go do that. Merry, Merry Christmas. And I will see you next year. Santa bear is almost done. Oh, so cute. So cute. Oh, see, look again, some more beautiful ornaments. I'm seriously going to have to go through here and like grab um, pictures of all of your finishes. So when I do do the thing about finishes of how to finish, we have all of these other options. Oh, wait, these are finished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my gosh. That is adorable. I love it. It gets a ring whether it's finished or frame because both of those are huge achievements in my eyes. Oh my gosh, that is so stinking cute. I freaking love that. Oh, is he done? The penguin is done? Oh, yay. Oh, how cute is he? Oh, that's so cute. Are you going to make him into like a little stuffed ball? Because that would be cute. Oh, my gosh. How freaking cute is he? Oh, that's adorable. Did you put music to it? Because that's freaking cute. It won't let me. How cute is that? That's adorable. 
<laughs> That's so cute. I love that. I don't think I've seen this one. Oh, goodness. That is very cool. What is that? Is it like a, let me read it. Oh, that is very cool. That's a finish. Let's ring the bell for that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. I love that. Okay. So little butterflies. So I've probably told this story before about when my daughter was getting married or when she was going to have a baby that I wanted her to give me, we talked about this for years and years, to give me the grandmother fairy from Lavender and Lace to tell me she was pregnant. Well, that's what she did. She gave me that one, but she also gave me uh, the one with the three fairies that look like uh, Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. And so I, you know, did and I finished the grandma fairy and I told her I wasn't going to do the other one until um, my granddaughter had a room of her own for that piece to actually hang in. My daughter lives in a very tiny house, 900 square feet, one bedroom, all four of them. Yes, I said four, two adults, two babies <laughs> live in one room. Well, they <laughs> pretty much just started remodeling. So I guess I need to get my butt busy and start on that ferry. So I've got something to put in my granddaughter's room. This is the butterflies made, reminded me of that. That is so pretty. I may have to do something small at first, right? <laughs> Rock of Ages. Oh, how cute is that? So cute. Oh, I love the double matting. I love the red on the inside. It just brings out the, the color of the frame. I love it. Two projects back from the framers. Already on the walls. Heck yeah. Oh, those are beautiful. I love that this mat, I mean, matches these coat. That's stunning. I love it. Oh my goodness. How freaking cute is that? Oh, I love it. Christmas isn't until next week. You could maybe have it done by then. A cute little ornament. Dude, look at all the progress there. Oh man, and look, you got like all of this done and the bear. That's some serious progress there. This is beautiful and it's a finish. Yay! That's a finish. Oh, I love it. That's stunning. That's stunning. I love how, you know, it's not complete. I mean, it's complete, but it's not complete. You know what I'm saying? It's not fully stitched. I love the wispiness of it. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I love that. It feels like a dream to me. You know, I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. Let's see. Can I turn this up? The Velcro. Last week I asked, for you guys to post your videos on your finished projects of you taking them off your scroll frame because I want to do a compilation of that right there, of the Velcro. Because to me, that is like everything. I love that. When I'm taking a project off my scroll frame and I'm like ripping that Velcro off, oh, oh, makes me so happy. So upload your videos and post them on our group. Um, but I did find that I can't download them. So if you can email them to me, to, you know, Donna at emergy.com. Let's see if I can switch out the banners. Because I do have a banner. Oh, I thought I had a banner that had my name. I don't. Okay, so just, you know, Donna at emergy.com. Who's your first? <laughs> um... Yeah, email me the videos, and then I'm going to do a compilation video of just nothing but us taking our, our projects off our scroll frame. But that made me happy. So you guys all need to do it, because I love it. I love it, love it, love it. 
Because it's like, you know, the last time of taking it off out of the hoop, you know? Ah, oh, it's just fabulous. So what do we think this is going to say? Mary? Mary. It's going to say Mary. So this has got a white on the outside. This has got a white. So I guess the inside will be red. I like it. This is coming along amazing. This is coming along amazingly well. Freaking heck, look, both of them are. Look at that. That's just awesome. I think you were working on this back in the um, Love to Stitch Challenge. And, like, you were at her feet. And now look how far, you know, down you are. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Makes me happy. <laughs> That's hysterical. How cute is that? That is so cute. Oh, had a frog. Had a frog. No, no, it looks like a lot was done. You had one little leaf and now you have all that. Looks like a lot was done to me. Oh, little penguin man, almost done. Oh, yes, we are sending Elizabeth's mother all kinds of prayers. All kinds of prayers. Pattern. Oh, it's a finish. Yay. Yeah. Pattern by Stitchy Princess on Etsy. Very cute. Oh, this is the cute little Santa man. Cute little Santa man. Oh, I didn't see this one. Oh, yes. When you're done with your piece and you take it off the scroll frame, you just cut the Velcro right off. Um, you don't try and take it off because most of the time it won't come off. You just cut it right off your fabric. It's the C and O in countdown, not Mary. You've stitched and ripped three times now. Kick the frog out of your house, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, look how cute he is. Look at the little fluffy, fluffy bird. I love the fabric. That's very, very cute. Oh my gosh. This one makes my heart happy makes my heart happy. I love it, love it, love it. So cute. So cute. This is stunning. This is beautiful. Um, you're doing the hem stitching on the side. Oh, you're hemming it. Oh, it's just, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at all that. Finally finished. I love that. I don't think I've ever done a piece that big. I mean, I have them. I've got several tablecloths, but I've never actually done them. As far as, you know, stamped or basic embroidery, I think. Pillowcases, maybe. I don't even know if I did a set. <laughs> it may have just been one pillowcase. <laughs> oh, see? It's... The C that she, you know, has put in and ripped out three times. Cute little gingerbread house. Oh my gosh, what is that? That's a little satyr. Is that like the satyr? Is that the satyr from like Narnia? Um, and <laughs> I love this. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. I was just reading a book this week and she, the main main heroine was like come on use the force and he's like I have no idea what you're talking about and she's like this generation she's like you're gonna learn he's like I don't know if I can do it and she's like resistance is futile my young Padawan and I'm like oh god she's mixing her metaphors this is the best thing ever I love it I might be a little nerd I might be a little nerdy what can I say <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh my gosh, I saw this pattern and it's amazing. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And I mean, like, hello, how appropriate, you know? Um, but look at that. Look at that. That's going to be an amazing piece when it's finished. I'm very excited for you. See, look how cute this is. Look how cute. I mean, look how unique and unexpected a uh, finish that is. I just, I freaking love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
I'm going to ring the bell because that's just amazing. I just, <laughs> I freaking love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Look at those. How cute are those? So we got a little foxy mama and a, a, a deer. Not a reindeer, a deer. That's hysterical. That's hysterical. When I read my my grandson a book, we will we have this animal book, and it goes through, um, you know, different animals. Like, you know, for a gorilla, we're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. and like for a giraffe, we're like, I don't know, and then for a fox, we're like, what does a fox say? <laughs> I have no idea what a dress is. Not a clue. I think it's something like, ooh, ooh, I, I, I have no idea. And this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is a labor of love. How long did it take? I, st oh, you stitched it years ago. Oh my gosh. That's, that's a labor of love. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. All of your guys' work is amazing and needs to be celebrated. And I'm just lucky enough to be the one that gets to celebrate and cheer. So I'm okay. My sister-in-law years ago was, she's like, you know, if you ever want that reaction, you know, that reaction that you want just call Donette because she'll give you that reaction. <laughs> and it's true. I do that pretty much for everybody. Whatever that reaction is that you want, I, I can pretty much do it. Yes. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look how cute. Look at the frame. I love that. Isn't it amazing how much a frame can complement a piece. You know, you, when you get that perfect frame for it, that just is like, oh, I can't see it in any other frame. <laughs> Do you know male reindeer drop their antlers in November? I did know that. Therefore, the reindeer that pull in a sleigh are girls. I did know that. And there is a new movie out. Oh, shoot, I don't know which one it is. There's a new Christmas movie out where um santa and like all the people call all of the reindeer girls and they're like hey girl how are you like they call all the, and they're 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 still their names you know i mean they, their names make a little bit more sense you know dancer who names a, a boy reindeer dancer prancer vixen they're all girl names but there is a show because i've been binging christmas shows <laughs> a lot of them like two or three at night. The other night I was like, are you guys tired of Christmas shows? And they're like, yes. I'm like, you want to watch Harry Potter? And they're like, please. <laughs> so there is a new Christmas show that does call all the reindeer girls, which is appropriate because the boy reindeers. Is it Christmas Chronicle 2? You know what? I think you're right. I think it is. Yes. Yeah, because one of the reindeer gets hurt. And they do call her a girl. Yes, 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 yes. You're right. What was the show I watched the other day that was weird? I don't know. There's been a lot of them. There's been many. <gasps> it's a finish! Yay! Oh, I love it. Yes, with Goldie Hawn and her man. I love the Christmas carols. They're so cute. Tomorrow night is our Christmas PJ party with my grandkids. So one weekend in December, we have a PJ party where the grandkids come over. And it's basically so my daughter and son-in-law have time to either go Christmas shopping or wrap the presents or, you know, it just gives them a break for the night so they can go and do something that they need to get done without the kids. Um... And so I was like, well, what, move? you know, we've been talking all week because she's been so excited. Um, what movie they want to watch. 
And I was like, oh, we should watch all the cartoons. And she's like, I don't know if I've got, you know, the old ones like Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph and all of those, the old, old ones that are kind of funny to watch because like the Rudolph one, you know, is really sexist and really bad because the whole village, you know, bullies Rudolph. But, you know, it's one of those things. You gotta, you gotta watch them. Oh, yay, Persephone. I love her. Oh, look at all those colors. It's going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, one more. Oh, look at cute. Ooh. Yay, finish. Oh, for his preschool teacher. Oh, so cute. A little bookmark. She'll love that. She'll love that. What teacher wouldn't love that? Okay, let's go do that. <laughs> okay. So, yes. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself for two weeks. Maybe I'll just make more posts. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Um, so, our next one will be January 7th. Um, at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, of course. Oh, let me go back to my comments so I know what we're talking about. The classic ones of stop animation. I know, they're so fun. They're so fun. I love Frosty. Frosty's, but I like the, I like the one about Santa Claus, you know. Santa Claus is coming to town. I think that's the one. I don't know. So they get, they, we come, they come and they get, they get brand new PJs. I mean, of course they get PJs on, um, Christmas Eve too, but they get PJs and, um, then we read a book and we watch a movie and then we make pancakes in the morning. It's a whole big thing. We've been doing it for, I don't know, three, she's five, maybe five years. I don't know. I don't know if I started at the, when she, you know, the second year or the first year, I don't know. Somebody gave me the idea, and I thought it was a really great idea because I remember those weeks in December where you're like, yeah, I need time to wrap presents or whatever you need, you know? So, okay. Okay, I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas um, and a Happy New Year. Very Happy New Year. And I hope you keep stitching, keep posting, because that's going to be my lifeline. That's all I'm going to see. Um, so yes, keep posting all of your stitching. I hope you get time to sit and stitch. Um, yes, all the holidays, not just the Merry Christmas and the Happy New Year. Let's see. There's Hanukkah, there's Kwanzaa. Those are the only two on my calendar, but I bet there are more. So all of them. Um, I can cross stitch those nights. I'm not live. Yes, 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 I can. Um, and I just, I might, yes, 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 yes. I'm very excited. It's going to be, it's going to be a great two weeks. I'm, I hope you all, you know, just rest, relax, recuperate, recover from 2020. And, um, next year is going to be a whole new world because it has to be. <laughs> okay, everyone. Very, very Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Keep stitching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.